and welcome back. On the third video of this module 2, we are having our first invited speaker. Sonia Hurunsalmi, a researcher from Lutz Software Engineering, is a scientist who has been studying topics such as gender equality and women in technology. On her first presentation, she will be talking about uh, own experiences as marketable skills, imposter syndrome and also on creative design and problem solving. So, let's move to Sonia's presentation. Okay, so thank you, Jussi, for introduction. So, as you said, my name is Sonia Hyrensalmi. I'm a junior researcher from Lut University. And today I can talk about my really, really favorite research topic about women in tech. And in this slide set, we are discussing about the future of jobs in ICT sector, the soft skills, and also the imposter syndrome and how to overcome imposter syndrome. And that's, that's really important. So as you maybe all know, we are in the middle of really huge change in ICT sector. Of, of course, in all the other industries also, but especially in ICT industry. So there has been a huge, huge number of new technologies coming to the industry and also the importance of ICT sector is more cross-cutting than ever. And that also like effects on the skills which we will need in the future in ICT sector. So there has been seen as a rise of soft skills and these are really important skills. Usually people refer that tech should be hard and you should always have your really technical hard skills but soft skills are that kind of skills which really can make a difference and soft skills are also those kind of skills we are needed in the future and needed to reskill so it has been researched that there's a huge need for reskilling in companies because of course we can teach the new members to the ICT industry in universities, but there's a huge amount of people already working in the industry and they need reskilling. So it's, it has been researched that 50% of all employees will need reskilling in next three years. So that's huge. And how, how, how that's, that is done, it's, it's a really huge we get, we get problem to solve both universities, companies, and also these people who need this reskilling. So as I said, the cross-cutting effect of software industry and software and ICT implementation overall, it's um, because the world is digitalizing such a fast pace nowadays. There's lots of happening there. And and that also means that software is having a huge impact in other industries. So nowadays our software engineers, they are not going to work only in software companies. They are working in different kind of companies and it's hugely valued that they do have like more experience in other areas, only just not only in, anymore. The technical background is not like the thing you should have more, more skills also in other areas. For example, emotional intelligence is one of the soft skills which has been researched in LinkedIn's research to be really a growing importance, just like in one year. And in this case, diversity and inclusion kind of topics arise that it's, it has been seen finally that <laughs> the more diverse the team is, the more innovative it is, the more efficient it is. And, and that's, that's really huge. And that also need that uh, we need more people to work in the industry. So industry has to be really inclusive. It has to be reachable for the people, for different kind of people. We cannot anymore be just a technical industry for just one kind of technical people. So 
we have to be attractive industry in the future. And for example, European Union has been researching that there is already a huge expert labor shortage problem in some of the European countries about really skilled ICT employees and export experts. So that's also one we get problem to solve. And one way to solve it is to attract more women to the ICT industry. So there has been really a lack of women in the ICT industry and that's that's a problem and there's no denying of our, about this that women are underrepresented in the ICT industry. But what we can do that, that's the thing. So when we discuss about how many women are working in the ICT industry now, we should focus on where those women are working. So we cannot just say that, oh, well, the number of the women has been raising up later lately in a couple of years, but they have not been raising up in the really technical fields. And that's, that's also the field where this different kind of biased technology can happen. So it, it should be really important to add more diverse people to different level of ICT jobs. So this is third we get problem in this topic, like how to attract more women and how to keep them and how also attract them to the more diverse jobs positions. And to be honest, this COVID-19 pandemic, this hasn't been so helpful for this topic because there has been already research done about that COVID-19 has been especially hard for women because they take more, more of their share of the household work. And this, this is really unfortunate for this, this situation. But about that imposter syndrome. So this is, this is usually one term which arises when we are talking about new kind of diverse people entering to the ICT industry. ICT industry is really high demanding industry. It demands really high tech skills and a high, high understanding of different different areas. So it's, it's not so uncommon that people, both women and men, suffer from imposter syndrome. It's an old, old term and it's not a mental disorder. So please, please note that. But uh, it does have a, like the dynamics of low self esteem, maybe family expectations, cultural expectations for your gender, for example. And it's, it's really hard to defeat, but you can do a lot of it. And if you're suffering for imposter syndrome, you can do it a lot. And also if you see that your colleague, your peace students are suffering for imposter syndrome, you can also help. So usually finding your tribe is really the, the most important thing to find people and place where you can really show, show you vulnerability and be like that. This is thing that I, I can't do or I do need help or I have been really successful in this and this topic. I would like to celebrate that. So celebrating your success is, is really important. You don't, you don't have to like fear that people should more and more celebrate their success and maybe be more gentle for themselves in different different fields. But these wicked problems are that kind of problems that we everyone can do something for these. So I really would like to encourage yourself to think, have you seen some kind of signs of these these wicked problems and what you, you could do for them. Thank you.